Hey guys, it's Ben from TV Parts today. Uh, back behind me on a table, we have a Samsung UN46D6000SF. Uh, we're gonna be pulling the boards out of this unit today. If you have any questions, if you need any help or need to order any parts, you can give us a call at 1-800-203-7484 and let's get right into it. First stop is the main board. Uh, we're gonna wanna get these clips removed first. Um, a lot of them are going to be very similar style. You just want to get your finger underneath the cords, pinch down on the top to release it, and they should just come right out of there. Same thing with this guy. We're going to use our thumbnail, pull it right out. This is going to be a little bit different than some of the styles that we've seen. It's got the flap that we need to pop up with our fingernail, and then there are two buttons on the side that release latches that will allow this to come free from the main board. Uh, this is going to be uh, two buttons on the each side that you squeeze in and you should just be able to walk this right out. So after we get the screws released, that should be uh, the main board free from the unit. We do want to make sure there's not any adhesive or anything underneath, keeping it down and it does feel like there is. We want to be very gentle when we're lifting up on the board so we don't cause any bending or breaking and it should pop right up. Uh, this is the adhesive that I was talking about. This is the power supply board. Uh, there are gonna just gonna be two clips, one here, one here. It looks like there's about five screws holding it into place. Uh, we just need to get those clips off and then we can get the screws out. Uh, this is gonna be similar to the one on the main board. We're gonna pinch on both sides to depress those little buttons and then it should just come right out. This is gonna be where we get our finger up underneath it, use our thumbnail to release the latch. It comes right out. Uh, now all we gotta do is get the screws out and the board should be free. There's usually not adhesive underneath the power supply board, so this should just lift right up. We are going to be doing the T-Con board next. Uh, first, let's get some of these cables and wires out of the way. Uh, we can untape this part, pull these out of the way get these wires somewhere else. There's some tape covering up one of the screws as well. So let's get this plate off. So that should allow us to now pull this metal plate up and away, which is going to expose the T-Con board itself. Um, so now what we're going to want to do is get the ribbon cables disconnected. We get our fingernail up underneath these flaps and pop them up. And that should just allow the ribbon cable to slide out freely. This one up top is a similar style on the main board. There is a flap and there's two latches on each side that we want to depress that actually let the uh, clip come out from the board. Uh, now we have the smaller T-Con screws. We're going to want to use a smaller screwdriver for those. And that should be all we need to allow this T-Con board to come out. All right, the pretty easy stuff today. Uh, don't forget, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below in the comment section. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you do subscribe to the YouTube channel, you can receive 20% off your first order through TV Parts today. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.